Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can see your call history by clicking the Calls button in the app bar and then selecting History in the Calls pane to the right. Calls appear in chronological order in the content window to the right with the most recent call at the top. The name or phone number of the other party appears in the name column. You can hover over the name or phone number or the profile icon to display a contact card. If the other party is a team member, you can initiate a chat, email, or call from their contact card. The second column indicates the type of call, incoming, outgoing, or missed call. The next two columns display the length of time of any connected calls and the date and time of each call. To quickly call a number in the history list, double-click the entry. You can click the More Actions ellipsis at the right end of the entry to display a menu of call actions. You can select Call Back to immediately call back the entry. You can select Add to Speed Dial or Add to Contacts to add the entry into one of those lists. To block the caller, you can select the Block command from the menu. Blocked will then display in the entries row in the history list. Calls from numbers you have blocked will not ring to you, nor will they be sent to your voicemail. However, note that the block feature only blocks the caller from calling your direct line within Teams and not any auto-attendant number for the greater organization. To unblock a number, simply click the More Actions ellipsis next to its entry and then choose Unblock from the menu. When someone leaves a voicemail for you, you will see a red circle notification icon appear over the Activity and Calls buttons in the app bar. To check your voicemail, click the Activity button in the app bar. Then select the voicemail in the Activity feed to the right. The voicemail content pane will then appear. Alternatively, you can click the Calls button in the app bar, and then click the voicemail button in the Calls pane. The red notification icon in the Calls pane that appears over the Voicemail button also displays the number of unread voicemails. In the Voicemails list, each voicemail will display the caller's name or number, along with the duration, date, and time of each voicemail. The most recent voicemail will appear at the top of the chronological list and any unread voicemails will appear in bold. To listen to a voicemail, click its entry in the list. A play button with a timeline will appear along with a transcription of the voicemail if available. To play the voicemail, click the play button. To pause the playback of the voicemail, click the pause button that replaces the play button. You can then jump to any point in the voicemail by clicking the small circle in the paused timeline, dragging it to a new location, and then pressing the play button again. You can also speed up or slow down the voicemail's playback. To do this, just click the Playback Speed drop down to the right of the timeline and make a selection. Then click the Play button again. To mark the voicemail as unread, click the More Actions ellipsis to the right of the entry and select Mark as unread from the drop down menu. To delete the voicemail, select the Delete option instead. Note that you also have the same options in this menu that we saw when looking at call history. You can call the caller back, add them to your speed dial or contacts list, or block them from calling you in the future. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.